A proposed rule by Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton could cost taxpayers millions of dollars and delay justice in thousands of cases. That's according to the Bear County District Attorney, whose office this rule will ultimately impact. The News 4i team's Mariah Medina talked to District Attorney Joe Gonzalez about the rule that could take effect as early as next week. The wheels of justice are slow, but a new rule proposed by Attorney General Ken Paxton could bring them to a grinding halt in Texas's most populous counties, including right here in Bear County. It requires certain district attorneys to provide copies of case files that meet certain criteria, including some case files dating back to January 1st of 2021. But for Gonzalez, whose office handles upwards of 50,000 cases a year. You're asking us to do something that's near impossible that would take uh, the prosecutors and our staff from doing their regular job of, of, uh, of um, focusing on public safety and, and doing what, what we're supposed to be doing to stop and, and make copies uh, and, and turn them over to, to the AG's office. His staff will have to go through approximately 150,000 case files to determine whether those cases meet any of these criteria. Then verify whether all materials are turned over, including handwritten notes, social media messages, emails, and even confidential and privileged information. Gonzalez and other similarly situated DAs will have 60 days from when the rule takes effect to turn over the information. The earliest date this rule can take effect is April 7th, and the earliest the files would be due June 7th. The quick turnaround time, Gonzalez says, will take prosecutors' attention from getting justice in the nearly 11,000 felony cases on the district court dockets. This includes 53 capital murder cases, 141 murders, 267 indecency with or sexual assault of a child cases, and so many more. For someone or an agency who has insisted that we do everything we can in order to promote public safety, we're now having to put the brakes on that and spend our time in the copy room. Taxpayers ultimately footing the bill as prosecutors, assistants, chiefs, and others in Gonzalez's 515-person team devote time to ensure compliance with the rule. Paxton says the rule is to promote accountability and transparency, but Gonzalez says it's a potentially illegal rule intended to target urban district attorneys with political views contrary to Paxton's. And the consequence for not complying? Paxton can file a petition to have Gonzalez removed from office. And while Gonzalez doubts the legality of some provisions in this rule, until a court can weigh in, him and his counterparts across the state will have to comply. We'll continue to follow this rule as it develops. For the News 4i team, I'm Mariah Medina. Now, we did reach out to Ken Paxton's office for a comment on Gonzalez's claims, but we did not hear back.